difference. Do you see the difference? So once we want to perform numerical calculation, like in, if I want to multiply this list by two, I have to loop on it to or everything. But with this one, I just have to multiply by two. It's going to multiply individual item in there by two. Do you get that? I'm not clear. I'm not clear with this part. Okay, look at another illustration. You know, in the previous ones that we did, we did something like angles. There is a particular assignment that I actually do something like angles. That's yes. in a list of angles. Let's say that we have a list of angles. 360. Mm. And just like this, they want to find sign, sign of all these angles, all, all these ones. Mm? Yes. So let's import math. Import math. So we have math library, so we can access sign. You know, now if you want to find sign of these angles, you have to look into an in individual item in that angles. Do you get that? Mm, yes. You have to loop, yes, you have to loop before you can find it. But with Aries, you can say, let's convert this angles to Aries. Let's say angles underscore array is equal to mp dot array. So I will create array from this angles. Hmm? So now yeah. and I have an array of angles. Angles, it's the same data representation, but this one is now array. It's not it's no more a list. Instead of looping all to each, each item, I can just say that math dot sign sign <coughs> angles underscore array. I think it should compute the array. No, it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. I think look, let's use MP because MP also have sign. I think MP should have sign also. So MP also have its own sign. You can use sign in MP. You see that I can easily calculate. If you want to calculate arrays together, you don't want to loop. That is where you have to use this. You want to calculate series of numbers together. Maybe you want to multiply by two. You want to divide it by two. Yeah, I can just divide it by two. Okay? It's going to divide everything by two. But I cannot divide a list by, I cannot perform any numerical calculation on list. Do you get that? Like okay. is a list. Yeah. Is a, I cannot say that this one divided by two. It will not accept it. Hmm? Do you get that? It will mm. not accept it. But if it is in, if it is in Aris, you can perform series of numbers together, cal perform a lot of calculation on that particular numbers, which is form of Aris. Okay. Do you get that? Do you see the advantage of using Aris? Yes. Another example is that let's say that we have y equal to this and array mp dot array mp dot array let's say five comma six comma nine. You see that this is a list of numbers I converted to arrays. I can see y. Then I have x. I have x. Is equal to np dot array four three comma five comma seven hmm? then I have x being display so do you get that I can easily say that look at this look at this if I say that x plus y I can say that x plus y I'm going to calculate for x plus y like we have in that part in our previous example you know that we have to loop in this one you don't have to loop because you can perform your calculation directly once the numbers of items are the same it's going to add the two together do you get that hello do you get that yes yes you get that it's very very clear look at this this and this an illustration look at the previous uh, this particular assignment this one that we have to look we don't have to look it is if it is in array all this list like this we don't have to look let me copy this one here you don't have to look look at this if you have this look at this now if it is in list we have to loop into everything and add it individual item together but if it is in array you don't have to loop it's going to you just have to say that maybe look at this now mp dot array i'm converting it to array mp dot array okay 
mp.array. So I'm going to convert into join item to array. It's the same assignment to mp.array. Okay. And this one, mp.array. mp.array. So now it's in arrays. So if you want to calculate total, you just have to look, see that cont, you don't have to look again. This cont A plus cont B. Hmm. Cont A2. Abi, we multiply it by two now, Abi. Yes. Two multiply by, oh, sorry. Two multiply by into brackets plus exam. So it's going to create new arrays of everything. Do you get that? Instead of looping. Mm. So anywhere you want to perform numerical calculation of series of numbers, array is the best thing to use. Okay. okay. Do you get that? Do you, do you get my illustration? Yes. Yes. Orjina, do you get that? So, once talk about arrays, you talk about series of numbers. If you want to perform any count, it's very, very fast. If it is in list, I have to loop. I have to loop to each each item, just like this. Just like the way I did hmm. it here. Yeah. If it is in a list, but if it is an array, just multiply everything together. It's going to calculate it. Is that clear? Okay. Okay. So, let's now move to two dimensional arrays two dimensional arrays two, di two dimensional array so if, if you have two dimensional array like this uh, let's say mp dot array we have two dimensional arrays is mean that we have array that is in two dimension just like your matrices like if you want to represent numbers oh. like this you want to represent number like this, maybe five, four, comma, six, comma, eight, something like this. Okay. Six, comma, eight, comma, nine. Okay, look at this now. This one is in, is it, is it, this is a three, is a two by three matrices, Abby? This is a three yes. by three matrix. So if you want to represent matrices, high dimensional vectors of numbers, then this is what we want to talk about. Two dimensional arrays. Do you understand that? So this three, two by three, because we mentioned the numbers of rows first. So if you want to represent this in, mm -hmm. in, 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 in Python, you use, you can use list, but list is not well represented because you cannot perform numerical calculation on all. Do you understand that? So, okay. So, Let's create a list like this, x equal to the first item in the list. Let's put this first row, which is 4, 6, 8. And second item, let's put the second row, which is, uh, which is 6, 8, 9. Do you get that? So, mm. so look at this now. We have a list. But this a list inside a list. We have two lists inside the two lists. So if I convert this one to array, mp dot array of x. So I'm going to get exactly what I want. So it's going to convert it to two dimensional arrays. Do you get that? Okay. So let's yeah. now create our this x. Let's represent it as capital letter X. Because we know that capital letter X is different from this small letter X. Capital letter X is the same thing, but it's an array. Why small letter X is a list inside a list? Can you get that? Yeah. Yes. So look at this now. I can easily multiply by two. So it's going to multiply everything by two here. Do you get that? That is the advantage of using array. Hmm. Okay. I can do a lot of things. I can divide it by five. I can find the log logarithm of everything, like mp.log. Okay. There's mp.log uh, that allows us to find logarithm of arrays. Hmm? 
Do you understand that? Okay. But if it is in a list, you can't do that. So Alice is just simply useful. If you need to find perform numerical calculations of on series of numbers, 